Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. This is episode 6. Last time we were running away for our very lives from the tall ma tall skinny man and we defeated him uh, at the end of uh, last episode. Our, our character has some interesting powers to be able to like adjust frequencies kind of thing. That's like what we've been doing on the television this whole time and we were able to then resist him uh, until he disintegrated. Uh, so we're now, uh, and we then used some massive amount of power to like teleport, I assume, uh, teleportation of some kind, instantaneous travel uh, to the spire. Uh, and we're now running down the hallway for real this time. And here we are. Oh, and it's get oh, and it's weird. Oh, and it's oh, and it's weird too. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's weird. There's no gravity in the spire, and it's gonna be some sort of wacky adventure. Let's go. Hmm. Never mind. Okay. We're gonna go through this door instead. So there's an eye in a triangle above that door that just closed. Oh. And also the one above it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, it's gonna be like this, huh? It's gonna be like this, huh? Hmm. There's a little hole in that door with the eye in the middle there. I'm curious about it. I'm dead. <laughs> That was a, that was a that was a bigger drop than I thought it was gonna be. I just missed that one entirely. There was a bit more of a gap. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's try that again. I think we might, if I sprint, I might be able to cover the gap, right? And without dying, maybe. Let's try it. <gasps> uh, it just doesn't. Okay, it doesn't like it. Oh, I died. Okay. Okay, I was wondering if it would lead to like a secret staticky child thing that I could get. Because it looks like a, you could squeeze in the door underneath it. Alas, I died on the ledge. So we're going to ignore that. I mean, fair... Fair guess. You know, fair guess. Kids aren't just... Kids aren't built to fall from great heights, you know? Yeah, we've got a bunch of... Okay, we've got a bunch of eyes above some of the door frames. Okay. 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 It's definitely the same each time. Oh my god, so weird. Okay. Um, we're stuck in a loop. That's great. Stuck in a bit of a loop. Is there anything I can do with this? Oh, it's so weird being in two spaces at once on the screen. Oh, hang on. There's music sometimes as well. Hold on. Okay, the music is only loud when I'm at this door. Now the music is loud when I'm here. Okay, it is changing. The more I do go through, it is changing. Alright, I think I have to enter the door that I can hear the music at. And it resets if I get it wrong. So, go in here. Now there's music here, go in here. If 
Follow the music. Yeah, follow the music. Okay, I got it. Got it, okay. Ooh. Now, is this music... I don't know. We're being led by the music, so I'm wondering if it's six. Shadows underneath that closed door. That's the right door, but hold on. There's a shadow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I see. Yeah, this is clever. I like this. I like the follow the music mentality to navigate through this. The 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 violet coloring is so beautiful in like a place that is so haunting. Am I Oh no, it's okay. Never mind. Maybe it's when I get close to the door. I was like, am I turning into a static image? Ooh, hang on. I need to use one of these doors to get me across the gap. Oh, actually, the good thing is when I get to a door... Yeah, nice. When I enter a door, I can obviously see if I'm about to walk out the wrong one. Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's where the music's... Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Push this down. And then I just need to enter the door the right way. So go in there. All the all the puzzles, all the puzzles in this game have been so satisfying. I really love how um, how smart some of them are. I'm here and breathing. Hearing breathing. Oh! Uh. Um. I did ask if it was six playing the music, but, um. I don't know about this. Dude, what? You're react it's reacting to me calling out, right? Press Y to call. It's even giving me the hint. I was already doing it. Oh, I just had to stand. Oh, I had to... I had to stand further away. Um, what the fuck? What the fuck? Breaking the music box? <laughs> what? 
What the fuck? Whoa. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh. I'm so confused. Like, is this six? Or is this in our foot? Are we imagining this? Are we stuck in a fucking a labyrinth in our own, you know, imagining? Because... We know that this isn't the end of six. We know that this isn't how it ends. So I'm just fucking confused as hell right now. Like, I don't know if this is real. whether we need to find a way to, like, reverse it or something. And, and bring six back. I, uh, I don't know. I'm really trying to think about this one. It's... I'm fucking confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Here's Johnny. Ooh. Okay. Uh... You back to being chill now? Ooh. Ooh! The call is now aggressive. What the fuck? The call is like an instant kill. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. Hold on. I see, I see. Okay, I see. That's why we've got the teleporting thing. So... I assume I'll get killed if I get up close, but I need to, like, leave this. Oh god. Okay, you get kind of aggressive if I get close. Yeah, okay. I just need to leave the axe pretty close. So then I can run up to this and, and attack it. I know what I have to do. Alright. I need to leave the axe in a place that I can drag it without getting killed. <laughs> That's kind of like the thing. <laughs> oh no! Alright. And we just have to strike the music box. I'm fucking confused though. Box is like some sort of uh, like an object in this space that is warping our reality and creating uh, a very monstrous six as like our nightmare. Not a little nightmare, a big one. Otherwise, I have no idea. Like this is bizarre. What? Like we're just in darkness with a just random door now, and it's kind of in slow motion. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. So I... Okay. Um... 
Oh, the hand right there. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, am I going the right way? We're breaking down, we're breaking doors down. Like, breaking down the doors of our mind is what I keep, want, like, feeling like it is. Like, everything's crumbling around us with the destruction of the music box. Okay, so now there are ledges involved, so I need to, so if I'm up there we get attacked, oh god, um, Think about the angle to approach this. If I go in here, and go up here, and then I... Oh god. Um, hmm. I need to... get killed through the door. Damn it. You can get killed through the door. Um, I need to take the axe through that door on the right to get it to the music box, I think. But I need to be careful about... Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, never mind. Um, how do I drop this fucking thing? I'm trying to drop the... I've forgotten how to drop items all of a sudden. Uh, shit. Oh, oh, oh! Smack down. Damn it. I was close there, I think. Um, probably not, but um, come on, man. Okay. I just let go of the trigger. For some reason, it just wasn't letting go at that point. I was like, why am I forgetting how to drop items? Oh, no, I need... Okay. <laughs> Actually, I might just be able to run straight through with the axe in that moment to avoid the hand thing. I think I might be overthinking the, the steps here. Oh, why did I do that? That was... Okay, I did that wrong. Timing bad. Okay. Timing bad. Can I just go straight for this, you reckon? Uh, nope. It's <laughs> like, can I cut that corner? I don't think so. Just get 
the axe down. Pull him over here. Axe through this door, and then just fucking go for the go for it. Yes, okay, it was that easy. It was just going for it there. There was another step that I was like... You know. Dude, what the fuck? You're not gonna have to make me... Sometimes some of the deaths are just so stupid because you're just like, I wonder if it's this. <laughs> okay, because I was like, we're not going to have to cut through the hands, are we? Oh, you're whimpering now when I call at you. Okay. Oh, it's not working. Hang on. You're getting smaller. You're getting smaller. I am fixing it. It's there. Yeah, the music box is fucking everything up. Yes! But also, is it a celebration? Who the fuck knows at this point? Because I don't know what the fuck is up with six. Uh, you're welcome? Oh! Oh, the eyes. Okay, uh, think me later when we're out of this fucking mess. We're not being chased by fucking eye goop! Oh my god. Six is so much fucking faster than me, dude. Oh, the eyeball! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. No. Holy shit. Six no longer is like grab onto my hands. Is like fucking good luck. No, dude. Is my character not gonna make it out? Holy fuck, the TV. Is my character not gonna make it out? And that's how this. That's how this ends. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my fucking god. Why the fuck was that so fucking obvious that it was gonna happen? Fuck that. I was like, I was like, subvert my expectations. Don't drop me. Don't drop me because I'm expecting you to drop me and you fucking dropped me, you punk. Oh my god. That fucking pissed me off. I. I saved you from the music box. I was fully expecting us to get dropped to the point where I was like, they're not going to drop me. I will get picked up and it'll be like a subversion of expectations. What the fuck? There was no reason for Six to drop us outside of anything other than her being malicious, right? Absolutely. Just being like, mm, fuck you, dead weight. Like, you pulled us up every single time. Oh, the eyeball. The chair? Why is there a chair? What does that mean? King of the eye goop. That's me. Hmm. This is literally that, that creature from the Nightmare of Mensis in Bloodborne. Like, 
What the fuck, dude? We're growing up. We're growing up. Hang on. We're growing up. Why are we growing up? How does this connect to the first game? I'm racking my brain trying to fucking think about this shit. Who, who the fuck are we? Um, Slender Man. What the fuck? like doomed to be in a paradox? We're constantly getting pulled into the TVs like running down this hallway to our future self and our future self is defeated by our younger self and the cycle just continues? Implications. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, no. Don't end. I, I need answers, dude. Oh, no. Okay. Fuck. So the game ends with Six just dropping us, and then we just grow up in the spire and become Slender Man. Who then does what we do during the events of the game and we're defeated. It's like some weird sort of time paradox with our character and we're just stuck in this endless loop. That's my interpretation. Meanwhile, Six escapes for the events of the, the events of the next game. I hope we get a Little Nightmares 3 that continues the story after Little Nightmares 1. Figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, that's so bizarre. This game was awesome. The atmosphere was incredible. Uh, God. And I, like, I loved the, the puzzle solving aspects. I loved navigating the spire at the end as well. It was really, really cool. But fuck, so we become skinny tall man. Or just maybe maybe it's not a paradox, maybe it's um that we just become the next guy, you know? And then the cycle continues and it's not a time paradox. I don't know. The I my initial interpretation was it's like cyclical like a cyclical nature thing. Uh, because it was like the same 
type of look for the character that I was like, oh, it's literally just like a, a almost like a paradox. But it might just be him growing up to be the next one or something. That's the thing. It's open to interpretation, it seems, a game like this. But wow. Just like, I'm just like processing that. <laughs> just processing that. Because that's the thing. It's like you first get introduced to this other kid, and you're like, oh, cool, just me and this kid. Just figuring out what's going on, having fun together. And then the fucking yellow raincoat comes in and it changes the whole dynamic. It changes the whole perspective of what you're doing. Cause you're like, holy fuck, that's six. Which means what does that mean for me? And what, how does the, how's this story going to go? Cause it, the, the stakes have now been raised. There was a period in the story. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I was thinking it, but there was a period in the story when, uh, that like the house and everything collapsed and six was lying there. And we like, you know, um, pick them up and we, we kept going that there was a moment where I was like oh wow what if it was a misdirect and the that kid wasn't six but like they died while they were lying there and then we take the jacket and wear it and continue the game there was a moment where I was thinking maybe we uh, were six and it was just like not to drop you know not to just jump on the th thing about the yellow rain jacket meaning that that was definitively six but I mean, obviously, it clearly is. We saved them. And they had the, uh... <laughs> oh, they, and they dropped us at the end when there was no reason to. Other than to just go, bye-bye. <laughs> like, that ledge wasn't in danger of falling at that very moment. Goddamn. And then Six goes on to become the little monster. The little nightmare that we know her to be. Wild. I really love this game. Um, I, there is, I'm aware that there is not any DLC on the level of Little Nightmares 1. Little Nightmares 1 having like a secondary campaign with the runaway child. Uh, I think this one has like some sort of gnome puzzle thing that I don't have uh, so I might not bother checking that one out because if it's just like a little bonus not fucking around with some gnomes thing um, and not like a an actual story thing on the level of the runaway child from the first game I don't know if I that has as much appeal to me but let me know how you guys feel about the DLC if you guys have checked it out I was a bit disappointed to find out that well, there wasn't additional like story DLC similar to the first game because uh, I would love there to be something to give me more answers. I guess I just want more Little Nightmares. <laughs> Little Nightmares 3 would be great um, to really just kind of tie some things together I think or like continue the story. Uh, this was a, a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with my Little Nightmares 2 playthrough. It was uh, long overdue and about time for us to finally get through to this one. But I had a very fun time. Uh, we're going to stay through to the end of the credits just to see if there is anything at the end. Uh, so I'll let the credits roll and then we'll see what happens. Okay, nothing after the credits. Just taking us back to the menu. But there we go. We have chapter selection. Hats and... Are they, okay, so they're called Glitching Remains is what they're called. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, Chapter 5. Nice. Okay. So I do like... And there's no Glitching Remains in Chapter 5. I love the chapter selection screen. That's really cool. Um, nice. Okay. Pretty sweet. I liked this game a lot. I would have loved for some additional DLC considering, you know, like I said, for the, the DLC for the first game is really cool. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, it's just a, like a gnome related, just like a singular separate DLC. So nothing like the Runaway Child. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along this playthrough. It was so cool getting through to the, the ending and seeing how it wraps up and doesn't necessarily connect completely to the, to the first game, uh, but leaves enough of a gap to see, uh, like we don't know how six goes from here to the first game. Uh, but we obviously know what happens to our character, uh, in this one. Um, 
which is a very sad ending. <laughs> it's not a happy game. It's it, we know that <laughs> we know that. Um, I think uh, in terms of uh, this game compared to the first one, I think I overall really liked the the first one um, more overall. But I loved the expansion on on this game, like the the length of it, uh, what it shows, the art direction, uh, sort of like the the themes and what they're like showcasing um, in terms of uh, like the the use of the TV and its effects on humanity. See, it was a really cool approach. I really liked that. Um, but like the that storyline, just like the impact of that first game. Um, and witnessing that slow descent of our main character being like, oh, we're playing a fucking monster. Like, you know what I mean? Like, having the child slowly get, like, hu more hungry throughout the course of the game to the point where we're feasting on, you know, these, these creatures that we'd made friends with along the way, these gnomes. Um, and then to play the Runaway Child DLC to see what happens to that character and then it's impl the implied ending of like how that goes it just hits so hard. It was just like, holy fuck. Like, so that, that first game with the DLC together was really impactful for me and then how it ended was just mind-blowing. Um, and this game uh, is not just like a bad it's not a bad game by any means a fucking great game uh i just think that i i enjoyed overall the first one more uh but really liked what this this game did uh and i and i'm really excited to see what comes next from these devs as well whether it's a little nightmares sequel or whether it's a new game it's going to be uh fantastic i do love the the 2.5 d sort of side scrolling games like this that are in that same vein of like limbo and inside and and stuff like that it was a it was a lot of fun so uh thank you so much guys for watching the little nightmares 2 playthrough uh and thank you so much to my lovely patrons on patreon who voted for this one in the uh in the big boss tier patron um poll to uh you know choose which games i'm going to play next because we're slowly working our way through some series that i've already started um that i want to finish up before we get into some new stuff so thank you so much for joining me I hope you loved it, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.